So in the reverter grain train, we have you know one compound, one compound you know shaft, one compound shaft or compound you know gears means on the single shaft we have two gears, and under uh, under one is you know the driver drive driver under driven or collinear or their shaft axis are you know collinear so if i if i take these two conditions into consideration and if i draw a simple gate line then it would look like this so this is a simple riveted gate line so this is a driver one is the driver for example if it is a rotating you know in the anti clockwise direction so if i look from this direction what happens this is rotating in the anti clockwise direction so if it is rotating in the anti clockwise direction obviously this will rotate in the clockwise direction gear 2 is rotating in the clockwise direction because this is the uh, engaged to this one and uh, if it is rotating in the clockwise direction this is also rotating in the clockwise direction if you see from this direction but areas if you see from this direction if it is this is rotating in the anti clockwise direction so if it is it's rotating in anti clockwise if you see from this direction if it is rotating anti clockwise direction then it will rotate in the clockwise direction if you look from the you know right side or from this direction so this is a anti clockwise so when you look at the driver here from this direction this is a rotating in the anti clockwise direction but whereas the driven or gear 4 is a you know rotating in the clockwise direction if you look from the right side or from this side so in the problem you would clearly mention you know the direction of the rotation of the driver or the driven for a given you know direction of the other gear and he also clearly mention the view point without view point it would change why because here the gear 4 is you know clockwise the direction is clockwise if you look from this but where are the same gear you know can be felt like it's rotating in the anti clockwise direction if you look from this direction so that's why you would clear you know it's so clearly mentioned in the problem and here this 2 and 3 are compound so we have a one condition and a driver shaft and a driven shaft you know is are collinear like this so this is a reverted k train so now what happen here n2 this is n2 and this is a n3 so n2 equal to n3 here and uh, we need to write the speed value here so that's a speed ratio is n4 by n1 equal to n4 by n3 into n3 by n or here if i write n2 by n1 here n2 equal to n3 so that's why i have instead of writing n3 by n2 and n2 by n1 i directly wrote n2 because this is equal to n3 so if i cancel this one and this one we will get n4 by n1 so that's why i have written like this so what is this one this is the t3 by t4 into t1 by t2 so again we got the all no teeth on the gears so there is no idle gear even in this setup also and uh, here as like in the previous case this is a t1 t3 that means you know uh, is a product of the teeth on the driven uh, driver gears here one is a driver and in this setup this uh, three is the driver so this is a product of the driver gears teeth divided by product of the teeth of the driven gear t you know t2 and t4 this is the one and um, one more important uh, point here is the center distance between this center distance between these two gears is the uh, same for example here r1 plus uh, r2 so what is the center distance between gear 1 and gear 2 so this is the uh, center distance between uh, these two so this is the uh, r1 this is r2 and uh, here also center distance between these two is same so that is r3 and uh, r4 so r1 plus r2 equal to the center distance let's say this is the uh, d1 equal to the 
R3 plus R4 here. And the important application of this one is the you know clock. Why? Because these two these two driver under driven are collinear. The shafts are collinear. That means here, for example, if I attach you know hours hours needle to this shaft, then I can attach some minutes needle to the same same shaft which is coming through the previous shaft. So now I will attach here some minutes minutes needle. So this is rotating and this is also rotating. So instead of making very you know complicated arrangement, simply by having a hollow shaft here, I can have a two shaft collinear shaft so that I can attach two needles for the you no know, same point or at the same collinear point. So that is the reason that these are used in the you know clocks.